we are ready to go. Where do you want to sit? Do you want to sit here? Or do you want to sit here? All easy. Shut this down. Thanks for making a coffee. Oh, you know where it is. I'm a I'm a coffee all day long. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's terrible. I don't drink enough water. I need to drink more water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all are victims of that. I think. Hmm. I was doing a little research on dehydration, for no real. Not that you have. Reason. You don't think you have it. I don't think I. You don't know. You don't. You're not sure. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I got yeah. signs, but I don't know. Mm. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so a year and a half. <laughs> I know. It's been a long time trying to get here. But here we are. What have you guys been up to? So much. Yeah, so much. The um, the pit, we just did our first uh, brunch there yesterday. Oh, right on. Which was oh, I saw that. Phenomenal. Yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to do one once a month. That's the goal. Oh, nice. Yeah. We, and was that, are you partnering up with Melissa? Is that what the post I saw there? Yeah, so Cape oh, Crow's okay. been doing all of our baking, like all of our lobster buns mm. and stuff. We always try to bring in as many local people as we can. Yeah. Um, especially the local awesome ones. Not yeah. that they're not all <laughs> awesome, but I mean, Melissa's got such an amazing bakery and just, yeah, it's she's awesome. So we love working with her. I was using her for um, my open house over at, uh, down on Milk Shore Road there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I had a list, or I have a listing up there, right at the uh, the little tiny little cottage there. Yeah. Like just as soon as you come off the there. The green one. Yeah, the green one. Is that green? Seafoam green? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So Melissa was doing uh, baked goods for me. So oh, nice. I would do my open houses on Saturday morning because I figured that would be like the best time to do that. Yeah. That time of the that time of the day, you yeah. get all the walkers out there coming yeah. in for coffee and stuff like that. Yeah, I love Melissa's totally. uh, baked goods. Oh, so and, she's very yeah. enthusiastic about what she does. Oh, yeah. She loves it. Love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. mom bought me a box of them for Valentine's Day. Did so. you get one of those? Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, <laughs> they were really nice. We were too late. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. I was too late. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, she's like, I can do it, but she, it's not going to be great. I'm like... It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm just too late. So it was all good. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yeah, so we've been um, just building the pit up. I mean, we opened that two years after the pandemic. Yes. So uh, yeah. that's been incredible down there. It's like been during great. the pandemic. Literally. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been, yeah, we're going into our third summer. Yeah. Yeah, this summer. So it's been great. And you're open all year there, right? Yeah, just yeah. on weekends in the winter. Just yeah. On weekends. yeah. Yeah, just on the weekends. Um, like Saturdays, basically for the music. And then uh, we'll go five days a week in May. Nice. May, June, July, August, September. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's really good. So we're just really, there's not a lot of people doing seafood brunches or seafood anything. So yeah. and we don't do a lot of seafood. So oh, like, is that what you're specializing in? Yeah, it was, it was lobster. Seafood? It was lobster. All, oh, it was all lobster, lobster crawl. Lobster this crawl. particular oh, okay. one, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, oh, okay. So it's just a theme for this one. Yeah. So uh, next okay. one will be, I kind of like to stick with the seafood because, again, not a lot of people are doing it. Yeah. And our brunches, not to toot our own horns, but we have a great brunch. Mm. So to throw in a little bit of lobster. Choo -choo. Right? Well, that's cool. <laughs> I'm going to put a little toot toot little animation toot in here. I like toots. So it's, yeah, I just think it's it's a it's a great offering for people our next one st patrick's day so we'll have a little bit of irish well, a lot of irish influence i'm irish and italian yeah. so uh what's some good irish uh, brunch uh, goodies oh, just like guinness yeah like stew man like we're yeah. in, like my grandmother's stew is so good so we do a lot of stew and then we'll do um pillow buns. yeah pillow pillow pillow, buns. pillow pillow or pillow Pillow. pillow. Pillow? Yeah. yeah. What are Irish pillow buns? pillow buns. They're just like a really nice, light, light bun. Okay. That you could make a really killer Benedict on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're, they're good. Yeah. So we always do like a Haddock Benny and stuff. So we'll have some other cool options oh, down there. Haddock Benny, too. Oh, oh yeah. Well, we did that Benny. green Haddock that time with the spinach in the batter. So oh. that might be fun to do up there. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. like St. Patrick's. That sounds tasty. So it's, it's, really, it's really, yeah. Good. It's really fun for us just because, you know, you know, burgers and, and poutines and pizzas and all that stuff it's you know great but yeah. as far as you know artistic we're like we crave that creativity yeah oh, and yeah. that's why we cater so much because we get to we get to create all the time yeah. here it's really cool because we get to create menus often mm -hmm. uh, more so than lately because of the price the prices of food mm -hmm. so we're constantly battling with uh inflation and what our patrons can afford to pay. Yeah. So we're constantly putting out new menus, taking off items. I'm like, I can't charge you $24 for a three piece chicken. <laughs> I can't do it. So it's got to come off the menu. Right. So yeah. that's where we come down to making those decisions. Cause we have some people that eat here three meals a day Yeah. and they're like, girls, it's easier for me to come here and you just tailor my menu to my diet, you know, 
because some of them diabetes and being blood local that's the thing is that we were able to do that for our customers yeah. like most most of the items that we have oh linda we need a linda fingers or we need a Derek burger or yeah i should do a home menu based on your patrons we, we do oh we you have do. a mystery like, menu oh yeah, you do, we do. Okay. Our, but are they like called linda fingers and yeah. like yeah oh are they oh, okay. about it. Oh. Yeah. In and we just and the Chefs all know. We just yell back what they want. Oh, that's awesome! And we have yeah. the capabilities because okay. everyone's. This is a thing, right? They come here, and it's part of the routine. Yeah. So yeah. it's nice. Oh, yeah, wow. it's like we okay. got our own vibe going up yeah. there in the mall. That's awesome. Mall I vibes. forgot you guys catered as well. Yeah. Oh, do we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, do we? <laughs> so that's another cool part. We just um, we've been catering so much, so we finally put a name on it. Oh. So it's called Smoke and Slay Catering. Oh, okay. And um, Smoke and Slay. Smoke and Slay. Smoke and Slay. Smoke and Slay. Smoke and Slate. Smoke and Slate. Yeah, Sorry. Smoke, smoke and Slate. Slate. Yeah. Smoke and Slate. Smoke and Slate. Yeah, Follow right. us. Like us on Instagram. There we yeah. go. Perfect. No, I love it. It's good. Yeah. The book of business between we do all the catering for. Anchor House, Anchor House and Cottages for Kate and Lee. So we do tons of business with them. Wow. Uh, the Shore Club, we're doing a lot of uh, weddings and stuff with them guys. Mm -hmm. And same with the barn, we do a ton with them. Yeah. But legit, like we're booking into 2026 with oh wow with 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 bookings. Man, yeah. You guys are I mean, busy. We are. We always leave option. You know, like people are having parties. A lot of people are getting away from the traditional wedding, so they're just like. I need a bunch. I need I need fifty sliders yeah. of pork and beef yeah. smoked. I need them dropped off with mac and cheese and potato salad. Yeah, and then you can just leave. <laughs> like that's what people want. They just want like they want a buffet style. They just want you to drop it. So we yeah. always make sure our two field teams that we have. We're like, yep, yeah, we can do a quick drop or note. We're on site doing a full service. I went to a wedding 20 years ago that did that. They did like finger foods, and I thought that was the coolest thing. It is. That I like it. Yeah, yeah. You know, variety. Like, yeah, right. Exactly. Have the autonomy yeah. to enjoy the event. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Sitting there and trying to pretend yeah. they know what to do with all the forks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like taco bars. I can't tell you how many taco bars we did last that summer. Was really that was great. huge. Really great. They're a lot of fun. Folks love them. Yeah. yeah. We bring poutine bars to our uh, household. Uh, I've seen those. Barbecue. Those are cool. Oh, yeah. We love the poutine bar. Yeah. yeah. And it's cool. super easy, right? Yeah. And it just, yeah. Yeah, they're neat. Uh -huh. I've been to one wedding with those. We did a donut bar at the beginning Ooh, of the market donut season. Bar. We did, yeah. Year. Oh, man. We only really did good. one, like one day, but the kids loved it. It was You just a lot like of fun. provide plain donuts. You yeah. bake your donuts, plain yeah. donuts, and then you'll provide all the. Uh, well, it's funny because that wasn't the intent. The intent was to bring some, and then um, if there was allergies, just to like take or add or whatever you needed to because yeah. we had our certain offerings but the kids started choosing what they wanted <laughs> yeah. so we're like let's go with it let's yeah. the kids want to choose so yeah it yeah. turned out to be and that's cool it was guys... fun it was only one time but maybe we'll do it you know, yeah again. so you're like yeah. just made you're made to order you will do pretty much anything that you're if a client calls you up or a customer calls you up and says it's, this, yeah, it's this, our philosophy is yeah. to create what they want based off their vision yeah yeah that's awesome percent so you don't really have like a, a set menu no. with your catering it's no. just this is it's what creative. you want okay i'm gonna yeah. yeah i'm gonna get to work i'm gonna hit the books youtube right. tonight get all my background research done and yeah. and come up with a recipe and, and yeah. i'm gonna make that literally yeah. yeah yeah people come to us with like they're like we have no idea so we give them options because we have mm -hmm. you know two menus we can pull from plus a thousand others that we've written for other weddings so we have like quite a, a book of variety that we can offer yeah. people um but people yeah they just they're like yeah i want the brisket i want the pulled pork i want the yeah. i want the pit menu or you know I, d I don't want a turkey dinner i'm like i don't want one either i yeah. don't blame you yeah. i don't want that for you yeah. <laughs> and they're like well thank you for being honest yeah right? so, i don't want to do that for yeah. you and I, so we're I like mean, i will but <laughs> we're like good cop bad cop yeah. so we're like the husband's like no, mom and dad want a roast beef, and I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, with her, I'm like, you don't want that. And she goes, I don't want that. Yeah. So they they don't get it. So <laughs> skipper loses, and it's okay. Skipper but loses. we always, um, yeah, it's it's we always come to uh, always come to a great agreement with our customers, and it says everybody's happy. Everybody always, yeah, always always leaves, and we get a lot of our business. Why we haven't promoted is because word of mouth. So just from like one wedding alone, we'll get ten quotes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes twelve. Like people are like. Oh, have that food. Oh, that's yeah, good. so it's yeah. really it's really fun. Yeah, I yeah. There's a lot of people at those weddings that want to buy or sell a house too. Right? Could you get me ten referrals next um, time? We'll do, a, we'll, we'll do a referral program. We well, will. I mean, we love to support local business, right? We do. Hashtag local. Mm -hmm. No, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Hashtag live love local. 
right? <laughs> That's the thing I You're do. a full-time out here now, aren't you? Yeah, I yeah. am, yeah. We live just right down the road on um, Fox Point Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love so it. Nice That's so nice. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful there. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's you know what? It's re- you know what? It's been really hard for me, though, and I didn't think that it would. Actually, it didn't even phase me. I didn't even think about it, is how dark it is in the wintertime. Yeah. Yeah. The trees. I grew up in Ontario, Toronto, mm-hmm. which is a little bit further south, so our days are just a little bit longer uh, yeah. in the wintertime than they are here, and yeah. I didn't really notice it until so my mom just moved here actually too um, and the, she's building her house up on the lake uh, cool. right now as we speak cool. and she kept going on about how uh, short the days are here she's like the days were never this oh, short in Ontario and I was like oh yeah maybe that uh, that's part of it for sure yeah it gets really dark here in the winter time <laughs> yeah. like really dark yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess oh, yeah. yeah and when you're in the woods that's a different ball game it's, yeah, it's, exactly. Yeah. yeah, like you know, when you like in Halifax, because we were in Halifax right up until 2022, you know, you have light pollution everywhere. Although, having said that, I mean, it was a hell of a lot darker than Toronto ever was. Right. But it was you still had that light pollution. But mm. yeah, that was like yeah. the, that's a big thing for me. I think I'm still not quite there yet. Is trying to get past how dark it is here in the summertime. I can't I wait for. Yeah, it's been a little it's bit hard. hard. Yeah, but hard. I mean, you know, you wake up and the lakes right there and right <laughs> I, live, I live in hubbards and yeah life's good <laughs> life's, no, life's good yeah. yeah life's good i love your countdown you're like 124 days so <laughs> summer. i love yeah. those every day i just like oh yeah the countdown yeah the happy countdown to heat i know at great scott homes follow me for summer countdown <laughs> i kind of like that i live in hubbard so dot 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 yeah life is good life, life. is great that's yeah, a great life. t-shirt we yeah. live on like 10 beaches yes we get the yeah. greatest cuisine Yep. I feel like greatest oh, yeah. raised children. Yeah. Literally, with all the varieties we have now of of uh, cuisine, why would you live anywhere else? Uh, why would you go to the city and pay a hundred bucks and be disappointed like we were? No, yep. that was two hundred and fifty dollars. Sorry. That's okay. That's all it good. Happens. <laughs> you, get, you gotta try it to know. Yeah, that's what our vacation. You don't have to are. name names, but where did you go? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was uh, right by the Scotia Bank Center, and it was not very good. Oh, okay. and it was too bad because it was a uh, it's a not you know upper class but it's you expect more for what you pay yeah and it was it's really good for research and development that's our vacations we just go around and we oh. we but test we have to we have to be ready <laughs> we have to understand too that we like things how we like them yeah we're and fussy. most people like what that is for them yeah, yeah. but for us we we're particular. We are. You know, true. and yeah, you know, th- true. I agree with you on that. And I agree with you. I agree mm-hmm. with both of you. Of I course. validate both your opinions on that. <laughs> but I also find <laughs> something new I'm practicing with the kids. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yes. Everything you have to say is important. So let's talk Welcome about it. Welcome to our house. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I do find, I was just downtown on the weekend as well for a friend of mine, his 40th birthday party. Big, big to do. And we went to a, uh, a simulator. I was telling my uh, brother in law who lives uh, down the road from us uh, that I was going to this uh, simulator downtown and he's like oh yeah uh, he's like which one is that and I told him he's like oh that's uh, oh that's high end that, that simulator I was like is it really I was like I don't, mm. I don't know and he's like well how much you pay and I said uh, I mean it's like $65 an hour he's like Phew. I pay $35 an hour. (laughs) Anyway, so I do find that sometimes when you go downtown, not taking away from the experience that I had there because it was a fun time. We had a great time. The simulators were awesome and everybody, and and the beer was good and it was cold and and everybody was having a great time. But I do find sometimes that when you go downtown, you are paying downtown prices for a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's that's what it it is, right? It was great. It was a great time with with my, you know, it was my family. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was great, but... Yeah. yeah, it was just. I mean, like, they had oh. to raise their prices too, right? This is it, and you go and you're like, ah. Oh. But yeah. then you're like, you get it. Like, yeah. You get it. I'm like, I don't even know how you guys are open. Right. Yeah. I don't know how you're doing it. Yeah. I don't with the staff shortages. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how they're doing it. I'm glad you guys are open over the winter. I was telling Ben John that too. Like, mm-hmm. it, you know, it's really nice to have um, options here throughout the winter time, and I wish we could see more of that. And I get it. I think you know. we will. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, definitely. The, the community is growing. It's developing. Yeah. People are being more. Um, entrepreneurial they're getting more creative mm-hmm. and they want to keep things within here yeah. they want to stay people that love Hubbard's want to be in Hubbard's and a lot of new people that are coming they're opening businesses and it's growing within the community and that's really nice yeah. that's what's mm-hmm. so special about our community yeah is that I, people are like let's let's keep it here that's yeah. right yeah I was saying there are a lot of newcomers here yeah so I'm hoping yeah. that I hope those tides uh, start to turn and, mm-hmm. and they're bringing so much different flavor it's great yeah. like you know like so like totally. good ideas you oh, know yeah. from a fire that you know everyone always says Nova Scotia is behind right <laughs> so they're bringing it to us and it's not abrasive it's not down our throats it's hey let's share this idea and totally. everybody comes together and yeah. see if it works it's yeah. great no it is good 
this big uh, the big talk is at exit six the big development mm. there oh the so, Hubbard Square right yeah. yeah how do you guys feel about that we're just we don't know what we're doing we've been approached we've met with the developers a handful of times and we're yeah. still we're still trying to figure out where where like what we want to do we have a lot of things in the works right now um we're you know we're completing a studio kitchen in our home so mm. i'm going to start offering cooking classes oh wow yeah right just on. a lot of people are just looking for something to do and yeah. i'm like we have a skill that people will you know it's not necessarily for money either it's just to give people experiences Engage. engagement yeah there's so much of this nobody has any conversations anymore they go do anything so i was like let's just do some dining mm -hmm. so it's you know it, it acts as um so when we bring clients in you obviously get to try what your your offerings are catering and stuff. yeah so we'll bring our clients down there instead of bringing them here or to kate and lee's you know the anchorage or down to the the pit and you know taking up seating and stuff we just want to bring that somewhere else so it's you know it's, it utilizes as an office space and our a studio kitchen for us so that we can you know you come down you try your offerings you sign your contract yeah and then at nighttime you can set up and we're going to do you know maybe it's couples or whatever six to six to probably ten is like eight to ten would be the mm -hmm. the max people but paired with some wines and yeah, yeah. it's going to be really cool yeah yeah you should also then do a youtube channel well i'm going to do That's, a podcast there's, we're, lots we're getting on that. The <laughs> there's lots of things in the works yeah but it's it's just like right now when we're you know i say we're slower but it's really trying to get ready for what's coming yeah you know well, the next couple months we've you know the whole pandemic thing and then we got out of it so you're, you're getting a feel for the world getting back on its feet mm -hmm. and then you're getting a feel for the world getting back on its feet and and getting healthy in here and up here and then like this 2024 is really a year where you know we kind of threw all kinds of things out there the past few years now this is the year to tighten it all up yeah, yeah. and and make sure that these separate entities that we are trying to you know offer everybody are tight and they're running properly and they're running smoothly and we're employing the right people and we're giving the right opportunities and so this year is really about honing in on our collection uh, like our savory group mm -hmm. and, and making it you know professional accessible and engaging like for everybody our team um, is so amazing extremely yeah. you know we've been running seven days a week forever and it's just that's hard to do and in, yeah. uh, and in three different places and everyone is so yeah. on board our, our team has been with us for a long time mm -hmm. yeah, well you have. were just saying before we got all set up here you got a couple people here that have been with uh, the uh, restaurant now even since before you uh, oh, yeah. took over. The Se they've yeah. been here the for years. girls 17 like, years like yeah, 15 so. and 17 years oh, like yeah more just, than that like Dorothy's I think been here well I don't even know like, I know forever it's a long time. And I was just thinking last night, Jordan's been with us, like, the longest now. She is the senior of the senior, yeah. I think. She is. Yeah, like, five years, four and five years. And Hannah, we had her for, like, eight years. Yeah. You know, like, we just hang on to, it's great. Like, we were just able to hang on to these, they're family members, so we're really lucky. And then their family members come in, and then their family, like, we have. Right. Yeah. yeah it's great. It's just a vortex. We suck them all in, and then everybody <laughs> feels obligated to work for us. No, I'm joking. No, they don't. No, I'm joking. For peanuts. I know. It's awesome. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Oh. So we have employment for the next 10 years. We're great. Yeah. What it is, is one of our, like, we have a lot of different um, values that we try to uphold with running a business. Number one, you know, just being honest with our customers, mm -hmm. with our team, and with each other. Mm -hmm. What we can do, what we're not able to do at the moment, and what we're going to work on, and, and so on and so forth. And so one of the things that, you know, we're in a rural area. There's lots of opportunity in the summertime to, mm -hmm. you know, for kids to go get employment. But being through the winter, you know, kids still need to save up. School's more expensive, you know, all these courses and stuff they need to take to get mm -hmm. out on their feet. And a lot of kids lost out on a huge amount of time um, to acquire transferable skills to help them in the real world. Yeah. And in a kitchen and in a dining room and just a public setting in itself offers so much mm -hmm. of that. So oh. many skills for, for our youth. And we find that the, the youth that come in that really want to hone in on some skills and get those skills, they stick around. And those who aren't ready, it's such a great understanding. You know, we, we talk to people initially at the beginning of their journey and we're like, this is your journey. You yeah. know, we're going to work with you. If, if it works, that's great. But, you know, if it doesn't, we're going to help you exit as well. Yeah. And so I don't think we've ever had, you know, like everybody that's left is because of college or yeah literally of, they just they, yeah. yeah they just you know, they like just they're yeah, moving they move on, on to in the their next life. step yeah because like, this isn't a lot of people's like the youth's forever yeah. job it's their 
Yeah. They're a pit stop to try to gain some experience mm -hmm. and some skills. Well, Ooh, that's so. good. That's yeah. a good track record. It yeah. is, yeah. It's like it's our mission statement to hire within the community kids, you know, that are 13, 14, to give them some skills. Because yeah. you don't learn this stuff in school. No, you, you don't. Some you know? really interesting yeah. people from the outskirts, like, you know, Lucasville and mm. and up up. What, what, what exits, Jeremy? He's in Halifax. One of our chefs is in yeah. Halifax. So we just, we just make it work. And they yeah. come and they yeah. offer life experience and work experience. Yeah. And they're happy here. They don't have to have a big, huge fancy job they're lucky enough that they can you know and everything happens for a reason so mm -hmm. people have landed here for a reason yeah yeah that. you know alan yeah, yeah. mr c yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And he was talking he was talking about uh what, what was the, you were at the last hat were you at the last hat of black harbor there like yeah. eons yeah. ago there you mean with the i think we missed that one yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it was right before the holidays. Yeah, we did miss that one. Yeah. We were catering. Oh, okay. The last Literally. one was Discover Halifax. That's all I remember. Yeah, no, we were catering. That's why we couldn't go. Alan, uh, Alan uh, was talking about his um, hashtag Creative Cove. Yeah. I love the idea. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, there's something coming up, actually. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm sworn to secrecy. Yeah, we can't okay. say a word. All right. We just have to wait. <laughs> yeah, All this right. one's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he told me yesterday. From Alan? So, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, I just had him on the show a few weeks ago. I'm wondering if he said anything during that. I'll have to go back in my tape and rewatch Check it. Check it out. <laughs> just, uh, you see him as a little, as a little monster <laughs> in the yeah, yeah. corner? That's stay nifty. tuned. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right. I love that thing. That's great. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, Alan, he does all of our maintenance and stuff here, and he does so much. Him and Kyle do like our signage. He's been every single step of the way. He's been integral in everybody's business in this community. He's got <laughs> yeah. his hands and helping everybody. Yeah. Honestly, everybody needs an Alan Carver in their business. <laughs> Swear to God. Love you, man. We need you. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Saved our life. I don't know how many times with something that breaks, he can fix anything. Yeah. Or he can... MacGyver, like yeah. he is MacGyver, the 2024 MacGyver. He, he can do it. He seems like if you gave him a toothpick, and some string, and a Swiss Army knife, he could build a Walmart. L sure. Yeah, like <laughs> literally, like you're going to Toronto. Like, yeah, he built a plane. Cool, not surprised. How's it work? Well, it just funny because that he did buy a bicycle with a propeller. Oh yeah, <laughs> you should see the, some of his projects he's got coming up. Like he does so much for the city and stuff. But like mm -hmm. just the ferries, like the little oh, ferry. Yeah. yeah, those are nifty. He's yeah. so neat. Yeah. Well, he's built everything from the tables to the bench. To yeah. the everything, yeah, everything in this place is pretty well built. And he's yeah. responsible for our logos. Like yeah, he helps us work on all that. Like he's great. Wow. Yeah, he does everything. Alan he's Carver, you're getting two podcast episodes. <laughs> <laughs> right from the girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're just really excited for the 2024 season to start. We have. Um, a lot on the go with the plate and the pit is going to be, uh, you know, we're getting those brunches. Things yeah. Different things happening. Yeah, some more happen. events and stuff. Um, I mean, Jamie's growing so fast, too. I mean, what an incredible spot down there. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, so it turned awesome. into a lot. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah, we got a lot of things with them happening this summer yeah. um, and just the market. We're back there this summer with, um, you know, the food and drink um, and then our, our catering. What do you think of uh, Langella Estates over there? Uh, I was I had a couple of lots over on Newton Lake there. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, and what do you think of the road and everything? You love, love it, it down there? The yeah. looks are great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, yeah. Like when I was in there last year, like uh, early, it was early in the year, and mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't a whole lot of building going on. But oh, I was told at the time that it was like going to be crazy in there. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They just finished four, I think, brand new Did developments. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And we met a couple of the new Busy neighbors. Busy street now, eh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah. And the lake is great for kayaking. Oh, it's yes. so awesome oh, yeah. down there. Yeah. We're so lucky. And you got the Trans Canada Trail on the other side, so yeah. it's going to be pretty quiet. Yeah. Yeah. No, the dog loves all the mud. Yes. I yeah. yeah. love it too. Yeah. The property that we bought and we were originally going to build, and then they were like, that's going to be a long time. And I said, well, we have two boys and we can't wait. <laughs> so we uh, ended up buying the Langell Estates, which was really oh, cool. Yeah. We love that place down there. And then uh, we're developing, like, a, what we'd want to do is like a little Gloam property, like, uh, just kind of like a retreat. Oh, yeah, yeah, stay. yeah. Stay. So, you know, the commercial kitchen yeah. and the cooking lessons, it'll all... It yeah. all feeds everything, all right? Together. It's just nice yeah. to have another kitchen to work out of. Like, that'll mm -hmm. be our fourth commercial kitchen we can work out of. Yeah. So it, it helps when you have that kind of volume yeah. coming in. It's just not fair to, you know, have everything here. Sure. This place takes enough abuse. Well, these guys so. are trying to do their job. They're trying to work. So just being out of their yeah. way so they have their yeah. own space, and then we can have our own space. And 
Yeah. I mean, it's it's all all of our. It's space. all of our space, but, but it just yeah, it just takes a, a lot of pressure off the team. Yeah. When you're like, yeah, we have a seating for 150. Uh, so can you get some French fries cooked for me? Or, and they're like, oh, we have a line up out the door, and we just seated 80. I'm and like, you know okay. what? They're so awesome and amazing. They're like, yeah, we're gonna do it. They best. do it. <clears throat> no, they do do it, but it's just like take the pressure off them because you know we get busy. Well, yeah. they're so good and they're yeah. so accommodating and they're so patient. You know, with all of the things we're throwing at them five million miles an hour, it's like a here you go, guys. This is yours, mm -hmm. yeah. and then we allow them to make it theirs as long as they follow all the rules yeah. within the permits yeah. and the expectations of ourselves and our customers and what we believe in. It's their space. Yeah. They're working out of it most of the time. That's awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, it's good. Yeah. It's like I can see why people would want to not go. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, it's a creative palette for people. Like, yeah. especially if you want to create. Like, a lot of the the team back there, whether they're seventeen or thirty five or. Mm -hmm. 43 <laughs> they all have uh they all have, they have like great ideas yeah they all have input on the menu yeah oh, yeah yeah they'll be at home be like april i just thought of this i'm like that is amazing jeremy's jacked up chicken burger was born yeah <laughs> like, what makes it here? jacked oh jacked well it's, it's jacked up the dill and it's, it's jacked. the dill oh, yeah it's okay. the homemade dill aioli we okay. make yeah is there jack in it no <laughs> no okay no <laughs> okay. the buttermilk <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, there's like pickles, and there's fresh dill, and there's dill weed, and there's dill aioli. Oh, that sounds tasty. Bacon dill and cheese, juice. and it's on a buttermilk <sighs> chicken breast, like toasted garlic bun. Like, it's One of just, the best sellers. It's People my, come from yeah. afar for that. It's my awful. Don't try it. Man, your kitchen sounds awesome. My kitchen does not sound as awesome as that. My kitchen sounds depressing now, listening <sighs> to your kitchen. <laughs> Well, not to take away from what, what what Wendy does, honey, you do an amazing job. But <laughs> I'm trying to think of the properties that I've owned. Um, bidding wars are, yeah, I haven't really had any bad experiences, honestly. I bought an old house in Dartmouth on mm -hmm. the Duck Pond. Oh, and yeah. uh, <clears throat> I had an inspector, old Jimmy No Teeth. That was, that was a really good experience. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, you choose your own inspector. I said, yeah, all right, we'll call this guy. Skipper looks like he's legit. You know, like, <laughs> dueling banjos ripping into the driveway. I said, oh, we're good, we're good. Anyways, yeah, I, I, we, like, I bought this house, and then I was sitting down in the middle of, of the basement just, like, listening for sounds, you know, new house, and all of a sudden it was raining. I'm like, oh, that's pretty. And then trickle of water and I'm like oh, cool rivers <laughs> through my basement <laughs> through my basement so it was an old school it was like a heritage home yeah so it had around the perimeter it had it was all dug out like this much and this was just a normal activity that we were not informed about about a home oh really it was just like coming in just like doing the neutron dances full around the perimeter and back out and like, really Phew. So you could sit there, literally have a cold beverage of your choice, yeah. and like you were literally on a river somewhere. I wonder, really? what, the, wonder what that's called. Like I don't there know. must so, be a like name it, for that. There's, there was a trench around the, uh, the like entire the, basement. The entire they, they sit like, I don't know. I don't know the terminology it's for not it. Not a French drain. Man, no, no, no. no I, I know what you're talking about. I've seen. I've seen it. Usually, it's Bizarre. in like unfinished basements where you go in. Yep. You're talking and, about inside. Yeah, like yeah, in the basement, yeah. like poured cement walls, but yeah. like all yeah. around. Yeah. Like yeah. the, you'll you'll see like there'll be like this, like it'll be on a you know usually I've seen it on a concrete floor. It's a poured concrete floor with concrete walls, but yep. it's typically an unfinished basement. Yep. And uh, there will be like a trench around, mm -hmm. and so that if water comes into the house, it'll uh, my understanding again, yep. basic understanding will just it'll go into those and then it'll just, evacuate. Yeah. 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 yeah it, it was until it didn't. Until it didn't. Okay. So I'm like, I'm going to do some laundry. Go downstairs, and I'm right up to my kneecaps. I'm like, oh, Mr. French Drain is not working anymore. So then you're swimming. That's kind of cool. Not really. But, yeah, it was really, I've never seen anything like that, and I did notice it. Yeah. Walking around, I'm like, oh, cool, unfinished basement, whatever. I was never going to finish it anyways. Yeah. But just never knew. It was like a yeah. big old ocean in the basement. That's that's a kind of a wild thing. It was kind of not, a wild moment. Not disclosed? No. No? No. Okay. I was like, oh, cool. Because this was bidding wars. Like, we're going on... This is when um, Halifax just got the big shipbuilding contract. Oh, okay. So anything on the Flower oh, right. Street... You got, yeah, there was a huge crazy. boom then. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy. So, yeah, it was just like kind of you do a quick inspection, get in and get out. Because like, yeah. a lot of people weren't even doing inspections. It was like kind of like the pandemic. Right, Like, yeah. it's just like, well, whatever. Nope. Well, you know, that's funny because how quickly people forget. Mm. Um, but, yeah, you're right. Because I remember when I was first licensed about five years ago, I was doing a market evaluation for somebody in the north end and um, you know the average purchase price in 2019 was still it was still around three hundred fifty thousand dollars like it was yeah. it was it was slowly going up for sure 
And um, I uh, was doing a market evaluation for them. They had a beautiful home in the North End, like all those old uh, wartime homes. And they had bought it several years before during that boom when the uh, when the shipbuilding contract yep. uh, came about, right? And uh, I, their, the evaluation of the property was, uh, you know, pretty much just put them on par with, you know, what they had uh, purchased it for back in mm-hmm. because because right after that boom, you know, it came down and then the market like like everything like the market up until that point was just flat, yep. you know, just yep. completely flat until 2019 and there weren't enough gains in the market after they had purchased their house mm-hmm. to uh, see any significant return on their investment when they were buying and they I think they knew that too mm-hmm. when I was when I was having the conversation conversation with them but that's uh, interesting yeah how quickly mm. people forget bidding wars and everything like that during oh. the shipbuilding contract do you ever have any crazy real estate experiences in the places you bought i seen a frog in a basement when I was looking at the place once. <laughs> I had a that was neat. Crazy. <coughs> that was I wild. ended up buying it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that okay. frog came from my basement that I bought in Dartmouth and it was just well the basement right. was wet yeah <laughs> but I seen I seen a frog and I thought, oh, you know, a lot of red flags there, but fell in love with the home. Yeah.